Oh, Snad Hamwick, how far you've come. Six tyrants at your very disposal. Once you defeat Vados, no one will despite your dispute your right to rule. Become the absolute king of monsters and restore our dying planet. Do we really have to defeat Vados? I mean, maybe if we just talk to him. Hmm? Who could this be? Dina? Absolutely not. Vados is not a tyrant. Vados is not even a real Nexamon. Oh, oh no, never mind. Vados isn't even a, a real Nexamon. I don't yeah. Yeah, yeah. Snad Hamwick, my king! Vados is the vile embodiment of Abelie's arrogance! He's called Lobo? Lobo, Isn't apparently. Wolf. wolf. Mm -hmm. A weapon who will purge tyrants until the end of days, non-stop and nonchalantly. My king, you are a tyrant yourself. Never forget that. As such, you will never be safe until Vados is annihilated. I will not allow such an aberration to lay a hand on you. What are you doing here? Oh, great Snad Hamwick, I have sworn to aid you in every way I could. Observe! I have scoured the world to find you some allies. Yep, all of the, all the tamers. The renegades, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. The rogues gallery. <laughs> After all, what is a king without his vassals? As you have recruited the tyrants, I mustered the renegades for you. Those who were once forsaken by the guild will now stand by your side. Together we will defeat Venus. We will defeat Amelie. We will feel, free this world from that woman's vile machinations. Uh... Why did you bring these psychopaths psychopaths here? We already have the tyrants. We don't need these guys. Stand Hamwick, my king. Just like yourself, the almighty Omnicron was on the verge of conquering this world so, so close. But he lost. He was slain by a group of puny humans. Do you see now? Omnicron's greatest mistake was to underestimate mankind. You will not be like him. You will be more. To overcome Vados, human and Nexomon will have to work together. And you, Snat Hamwick, you will lead us all to victory! Listen well, warriors of Snad Hamwick. The dark aberration dwells in the heart of Perum, the impreg impregnable city. Hundreds, no, thousands of tamers lie within its walls. Therefore, we must lure Vados outside the city. We must drag him far, far away. Only then can our tyrants ambush him. And he proposes. Oh, oh, me, I have a most excellent idea. Set the city on fire. The sheer heat will force Vados out and... Who invited this guy? Jin, you dimwit. If we burn the city to a crisp, there'll be nothing left for us to loot. That's not the problem. An airship. We must acquire an airship. Oh! And what shall we do when we procure one? Mm, well, we crash it. What? Think about it, guys. Vados is always flying atop the city on the lookout for tyrants. We can use an airship to drag him away from Parum. And crash him very, very far away, where all our tyrants can finish him off for good, together. This game is messed up. <laughs> Yes! My! My! This could most certainly work! The next step in our plan shall be to take control of an airship! The simplest way to get one is by becoming a Grandmaster of the Guild. Tamers of that rank have ludicrous perks such as that. If Snad Hamwork were to be promoted to Grandmaster, we could use his airship to drag Vados away from the city. Snad Hamwick, you are a gold tamer, yes? Then you can apply for a promotion! 
There's a number of requirements to become a Grand Master, but nothing our great king... Uh, but nothing our great king of monsters cannot, cannot achieve. We shall stand by until you become a Grand Master. You must acquire an airship if we are to defeat Vados. What? Probably isn't actually that hard. <laughs> she just puts a stamp on our our notification okay. and she's like, mm, fine. You earned it. God, that'd be amazing. It'd also be amazing if she was secretly a cultist. <laughs> uh. Oh, great. We are a terrorist. We really are. Oh, hello, Snad Hamwick. Uh, how may I help you today? Apply for Grandmaster. Oh, a confident one, aren't you? There are three basic requirements to become a Grandmaster. You must be a gold tamer. You must have a reputation of 600. And you must pass the combat challenge. You are indeed a gold tamer, so that's good. You already have 600 reputation points, so that's fulfilled as well. Therefore, the only requirement left is the combat challenge. Obviously, Grandmasters must be exceptional warriors, so you'll have to prove it with this special battle. Would you like to take the challenge now? Yep. <laughs> oh, very well, Snad Hamwick. Let's see what you're made of. Follow me outside for your combat challenge. Watch it just be her. No? Uh, oh, it's are these, these guys. Who are these guys? The, the uh, assistant characters from last time. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. The gold tamer, Snad Hamwick, has requested to become a grandmaster. I can see the determination in his eyes. But does he possess the strength in his heart? We'll find out in a moment. Let the first battle commence. Gold Tamer, Water Type Specialist, Nolan. Well, well, we meet again, Snat Havwick. I saw your strength when we fought together in the frozen tundra. Remember me? I don't deny your might, but you've protocol we've protocol to follow, eh? Let's roll, kid. Show. Yeah? You want me to get water? Yeah. I'll battle slowly. You'll battle slowly. Yeah. I just, I'm losing my voice real bad, and without any water on hand, I, I'm not going to make it. So let me get this straight. He's basically beating the Elite Four to get a bus, to crash said bus, to get rid of the city's protector. Yes. So we can then conquer the city and become the overlord of the world? We are absolutely, indisputably, the bad guy here? We just have good intentions. Maybe. I mean, the thing is, like, no one's ever asked Snad Hamwick why he wants to do this, apart from telling us that we have to do it no matter what. Which, you know, shouldn't be unexpected. Oh, I've never actually seen this battle, battle tile set before. That room actually looks kind of nice in the background. If you look at this from the outside, it totally looks like the villain's plan. I love it! It's so good. I want Coco to backstab Snide Hamwick and take power for himself. If that happened, I would laugh so hard. I want the final battle to be against Coco. And for Coco to just be ridiculous. It totally looks like this is all planned from the beginning. It really does. Like We have absolute we are absolutely looking at the plot of this game is literally all according to Keikaku, and it's so good. Can Snide Hamwick even say anything? I, maybe. He's definitely spoken to people when no one else is around, but he speaks so rarely I think everybody thinks he's a mute. Maybe? I, flip side, other people have said that we are straight up mute and do not talk. God damn it. I guess now is a good time to actually pop a max ether. Uh, nah. Better do ultra ether. And yeah, also never blinks, has a weird spinning issue and some other things. Like, there there are absolutely weird lore bits about Snad Hamwick that are very confusing. Wonderfully done, buddy. You are destined for greatness. I just know it. Thank you, Shell. Good timing, too. 
because I'm going to guzzle some water while you get your headset back on. <laughs> Nolan has been bested in combat. Let the second battle commence. Gold Tamer, Fire Type Specialist, Finn. Aye, aye. I owe you one Snad Hamwick. You saved me from Mulsimer. Don't be fooled, though. I've grown a lot so stronger since that time. Come at me, mate. <clears throat> yeah, did you name yourself Snad Hamwick? Oh, absolutely. There's no <laughs> way Snad Hamwick is a can canon name. Uh... Oh. Oh, well, what so was the better. default name? I don't think there was one. Mm-hmm. Because I know sometimes other games will suggest a basic name for you. Why did I do that? No, whatever. <clears throat> That's so much better. Yet, yeah. I'm still gonna be regretting this a little bit tomorrow, but it was. This has been worth it. Laugh with the developers watched the stream and made Snad Hamwick the default name for any possible future installments. Uh... I, I, I know they will actually put YouTubers uh, into their games. Uh, one of the trainers in the Drake Isles is absolutely a YouTuber. Honestly, I would prefer Snad Hamwick to just be this, like, weird dude that just shows up in, uh, mm -hmm. as, like, a trainer elsewhere. Like, I would love, I would love it if I got a cameo in more games. That would be really cool. Speaking of, what did you send to the monster? Was it Monster Train or Slay the Spire? What was the Oh, it was my face. I don't know if it's going to get it in. I might have missed the cutoff. It's okay, uh, but it was going to be my face in the game, but even then, like... Uh, I doubt. I thought it was a little creepy. Yeah. yeah. It's a funny joke. I'd be in there with the developers. Ugh, you're something else. Sad Hamwick, don't forget about us when you become a legend. I won't. Finn has been defeated. Let the third battle commence. Gold Tamer, Electric Type, spe bleh, electric type Specialist, Riley. Oh, uh -huh, Snad Hamwick wants to be a Grandmaster now. You want to be a star, eh? Alright, alright. Let's see how bright you can shine, friendo. Wander's face or his OC face? My real face. Yeah, they I was hoping they'd face. take my OC face, but no, they wanted my real face, which is inconvenient because... We have to take photographs. Yeah. And that's not exactly convenient for us. What is the origin of the name Snad Hamwick? Uh, okay. We were starting a game. Which one? No, then? no. That's where I originally came up with it, but it actually has origins. So, Snad is an item in, in Minecraft. It is super sand that if you put uh, a piece of bamboo on it and a switch, and you flip the switch a bunch, the bamboo just grows instantaneously. And so, Snad has always just been stuck in my head as wait, just a thing. Wait. That's what it's from? Yeah, that's what Snad is from. Ew. Hamwick is... And here's the other part of the name. Uh, well, sort of. Uh, there's a monster in Dragon Quest XI called a Sham Hamwich, which uh, is by and far my favorite a monster from that game. Which is, yeah, just Ham Sandwich. Ooh, this is pretty. Switched around. Yeah, Rasonic is cute. Um... And so, uh, so as, as part of this, uh, we were sitting there trying to name a character and two, these two names, Snad and Sham Hamwich, uh, that had been stuck in my head for a year, more or less... I was just like, well, I can't come up with anything good. Snad Hamwick. And Shell was like, un under no uncertain terms, absolutely not. 
she did not want Snat Hamwick to be the name of our character in. Oh, what was the game? It was another. It was Pokemon, Monster like... Crown. It was Monster Crown. So we ended up calling him Snadwick. Yeah, we called him Snadwick. But Which is a, a compromise. A bunch of people were like, no, rest in peace, Snad Hamwick, and so on and so forth. And uh, and so when I started this, Shell wasn't around for the beginning of the series. And so I was like, she can't stop me, Snad Hamwick. Amazing. With tamers like you, perhaps we didn't need Vados. Go on, Snad Hamwick. Let's fight again another day. Riley has been defeated. You did it, Snat Hamwick. Now we can get the... Not so fast, kids. The challenge is not over yet. Yep, we have to fight her. Now it's my turn, Snat Hamwick. You're a tamer. My job involves far more than mere paperwork, dear. I'm the reason we have so few Grandmasters, after all. <laughs> can you defeat the fourth Grandmaster of the Guild? Ooh, lioness. I don't know if I've ever seen that yeah, it's one. That's a manticore. It actually looks pretty cool. Manticore. Wait, is this what Perum is supposed to look like? Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. I yeah, I I like the the cobblestone path. I mean, not cobblestone, it's more like the you know, the flattened, chiseled stones, the the brick, the they even have the grating for... But it's a very... While you have these modern buildings made out of a variety of materials, it looks like they're mostly comprised of metal and stucco and stuff. There's still plenty of greenery and trees, but they also have rock. Like, some of these things are built out of the rock still. Also, there are just no cars. I like that. <laughs> yeah, there have been vehicles in this game, but not many. I almost wonder how much cleaner places would be if you didn't have vehicles. Yeah. I mean, I... I if... Like, remember when we walked around Dubrovnik I, all the time? Yeah. As, Granted, it was littered with cats. As the cats world moves everywhere. to cope with stuff like climate change, I would love to see cities that just move almost entirely away from having personal vehicles. Like, maybe people have personal vehicles, but you just really only I, drive them occasionally. I really liked it when we went to one of the garages and hopped on the train. Yeah. Like, you just pay a fee to park your your car at the but garage. But, like, imagine, and... imagine if light rails were so common, so fast, and so efficient that, like, you didn't even have to drive to a garage. They were just everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. easily within walking distance. I mean, we do have a train within walking distance if we really wanted to. Yeah. But it's... You have to kind of go through... It just takes like, longer. odd neighborhoods and stuff, and I wouldn't want to walk all the way, especially at night. Which is why we ended up with the... Take the car to the garage, and then take the train into the city route. And when travel was reduced when the pandemic happened, there are a couple of places that never really seen the sky before due to pollution. Now they're saying, seeing it for the first time. Yep. Yep. And so, like, I I, I enjoy having a car, but... Well, it's, it's nice for us to just have one car. Yeah. And one car that we barely use. Also, my car is very fuel efficient. Mm -hmm. It gets about 40... But, like, how cool would it be to have a to city that you can only drive away from the city, not into it. Mm -hmm. And that otherwise to go in the city, you have to take, you have to walk, bike, or take public transportation. And, you know, it's just this very beautiful green city. Minimal pollution as a result of the, you know, no cars thing. A lot of space to move around in. Like, oh, that'd be so good. And they really need to make the super, uh, what, what did they call them? The, the fast... Oh, bullet trains? Bullet trains. For major cities that always get a lot of traffic between them, why not have a train that just goes directly from one to the uh, next? I, I was so mad uh, X number of years ago when that was starting to be proposed and everybody was kicking in their heels being like, no! And it's like, 
but it would be so good. Because I remember there were plans to, what, build one between St. Louis and Kansas City and maybe one from Seattle to Portland to yeah, San Francisco I or would. something like oh, that. Oh, man. Hmm. Passable. Congratulations, Snad Hamwick. You are officially a Grandmaster of the Guild. You've received the Grandmaster Badge. Hmm. Ah, uh, don't jump on the stairs, because Grandmaster. As a Grandmaster, you have unlocked quite a few perks. For example... Like an airship? Mm, y yes. Like your own personal airship. You also get access to the upper levels of the Guild Tower. Yep, that means that you get to meet Vados himself. Oh, isn't that nice? Super nice. Oh, right. You also get these rewards. Yay. Wait, is it possible for you to talk to Vados before you... Uh, that's what I was thinking. ...concoct your airship plan? I don't know. Many things will be different, f different for you now that you're a Grandmaster. People will recognize your authority, unlike a gold tamer loser. We're still here, ma'am. I don't care. You're not a Grandmaster. See? Anyway, have fun exploiting your new title, Snad Hamwick. We did it! N now that you're a Grandmaster, we can use our own airship for the plan against Vados. Wonder where, where I wonder where everyone else is, though. Who would do this? Excuse me! Nope. Oh. Oh, who is this? Excuse me. Oh. Oh, oh. oh I got a letter for Stan Hamwick. You're to meet with your renegade friends in the orphanage. You will you, you will plan Amelie's downfall and oh. the absolute <gasps> destruction of Vados in the orphanage, yes? You're not supposed to read the mail, sir. Uh, also, you're right here on the steps of Did you read our mail? I guess this is it, Stan Hamwick. We have everything we need to execute the final plan against Vados. This will reveal that we're the traitors of the guild, and we'll be persecuted. Are, are you are you ready? You want to go to the orphanage now? Maybe later. Ew, I didn't really want to do it. We can visit the orphanage later. Are you going to save manually? Yeah, sure. Let's save manually. Boy, okay, upper levels. Huh, that lead to the upper levels. Since you're now a Grandmaster, we could go, but Vedas is supposed to be up there. It's dangerous. Let's speak to our mentor in the orphanage first. Oh, oh you can't even go talk to Vedos. Dang. It'd be great if we just walk up and it's like, Vedos, we challenge you! And then we beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and everybody's like, huh, this or elaborate plan you. was completely unnecessary. Or, or you find out that he's completely reasonable and he doesn't want to destroy the town and stuff and... I don't know. Wow. Uh-oh. Hey, what's going on here? There are reports of renegade sightings near this building. Now get out of here before I... Th that's a Grandmaster patch! I'm so sorry, Snat Hamwick. News of your promotion has barely surfaced. Y you want us to leave this place, but what about the renegade... You fools, they're no match, match against Grandmaster Snat Hamwick. Y you're right, of course. We're leaving this to you, sir. <laughs> We're the bad guys. I can't believe that worked. We should find more ways to abuse this authority later. Anyway, we should meet with the renegades now. The music is so cute. Oh. Snad Hamwick, I've heard of your promotion. Congratulations! Too bad there might, might not be a guild anymore soon. Ha! <laughs> That's not funny. This is it! Yes! Now that you are Grandmaster, we can use your airship to drag Vados outside the city! Your diamonds will then ambush him! And then you will be the indisputable king of the next Nexomon! With your permission, Snat Hamwick, I shall have my minions prepare the airship right away! 
Don't worry, Snad Hamwick. We've got your back. It's like I never tried to take you hostage. <laughs> oh my, did you try to take him hostage as well? How grand. So unoriginal, I took his friends hostage instead. Long live Snad Hamwick, Emperor of the Animals or whatever. I hate every single one of you. Snad Hamwick, there's one more thing you need to do. You must go and speak with Vados. This is what we we're going to do. Yep. Visit him at the top of the tower. Whoa, are you insane? Why should we go there alone? We can't hit Vados with an airship in plain daylight. Come on. We need you to distract him. As a Grandmaster, you're the only one with access to the upper levels of the tower. Only then will we have the chance to take him away from the city. The airship will take Vados to a faraway isle. The tyrants are ready and waiting for the ambush. All that remains is for you to distract him. What happens next will shape the future of our world, Snat Hamwick. You must rise as the true king of monsters. Wanna well, talk with each of them one more time? My minions are preparing your airship as we speak. We must hurry and distract Vados, my king. Once this is all over, let me teach you how to catch greater drakes. Is that Hamwick the king of monsters? Can't, he can't just call them? Remember, the dragons believe that Eurus is their king. Thus, they will only, they will never stop attacking Snad Hamwick. I see. Ever since you shared your life force with Nivalis, that has become quite docile. It's very different than before. Do monsters revived with your power become obedient? Huh. We must hurry, Snad Hamwick. If Vados discovers your location, he will surely obliterate this place. You guys held this meeting in an orphanage. Nice home, kid. I like this place very much. This is it, child. The end game approaches. Time to make history. The power to revive tyrants! The resurrection machine those cults has built! Atlas's tyrant radar! Ah, never mind if forget I said anything. Is he thinking of something to use them all with? Maybe, yeah. Uh... Yeah, they were, really wouldn't destroy an orphanage, right? Uh, I wonder if that's the remote island off to the left that we've never uh, been able to go to. Yeah, see that island with the coconut trees? No, 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 no. We've been there before? I've been there before. Ah. Uh. That is uh, Palmaya. Ah. Uh. Wait, we might actually be... Oh my god. Okay, so Palmaya's main claim to fame is that they've never been attacked by a tyrant before. And except they're going to get all of them there <laughs> at once. <laughs> the final battle's going to be on Palmaya, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> oh, I hope that's the case, because that would be great. That door leads to the upper levels of the tower. Vedas is definitely further ahead. If you manage to defeat him, you'll surely be acknowledged as the king of monsters, Snat Hamwick. Don't make eye contact with anyone in this room at Snat Hamwick. Got to heal up. Oh, yeah. How am I doing? Yeah, we can probably go heal. Sadly, no. Palmaya is a 100% optional island. Well, that sucks. Yeah, Palmaya has the widest variety of... Nexamon? Nexamon. So you can spend it's a lot of time zone. at the very beginning. Yeah, it's kind of like the Safari Zone, except for without the dumb gimmicks. Mm -hmm. uh, so I spent like an hour or two there at the very beginning of this catching a bunch of starters and Nexamon I was interested in using. Mm. I Half of our team was sourced from that place. Oh no! The cultists are here! Ah, Stan Hamlick, my king! We tried to clear the path for you, but one of their tamers is way too strong! You must tread lightly, sir. Why can't we just go up and talk to the guy? Oh, uh, him again. Never mind. 
There he is, sir. You were right. Snad Hamwick is behind this mess. Leave us alone, guards. Tell me something, King of Monsters. You grew up in a human orphanage, didn't you? What was it like? It was kind of dirty and... I'm talking to Snad Hamwick! That place was once my home as well. Because of the tyrants. Because of your disgusting kinds. How dare you, Snat Hamwick? How dare you live among my brothers and sisters, Snat Hamwick? I don't even care about Amelie's stupid pet. This has never been about Vados, nay. I became a tamer for one and only one reason. All the terror and all the pain that your kind has brought me. I shall return it to you. You will not harm our king! Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait. We oh. are the sword of Snad Hamwick! We have come to enjoy his victory! <laughs> the Power Rangers? Well. The Cult the Rangers. Inept Power Rangers. Attack! <laughs> oh. We don't know these people. Now come, Snat Hamwick! Your time is up! <laughs> oh, I think they could have used another background for this. Yeah, it would have been nice to have, like, a special... Because this is the generic one. Yeah. Oh well. So it's interesting. Uh, hey, I don't know if I've ever seen this guy. Yeah, Wargoyle doesn't show up very often. I don't know if it has a pre-evolved form. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where to catch it either. Yeah. But... Gosh. So that's interesting. This guy Xander was pony. raised in the orphanage, but his parents were killed by tyrants, which is why he's has a personal vendetta against them. Hey, time to finally use Ares in combat. Mm hmm Wait, is... Oh, it's a water type. It's a water what am I type. Doing? I what are it's... you doing? It's not ice. I Look, its name is Blizzard. I know. Look, I make this mistake, <laughs> like, every once in a while. Uh... I need a good water. Me too. Mm-hmm. Oh, time to fight one-handed. Switch now, nah, screw it. Sometimes, instead of doing the perpetual switching, it's better just to plow through it if you have something that isn't necessarily disadvantageous against it. Mm hmm. Or is weak to? Susceptible? Music's pretty good. Mm hmm. Oh, my voice is tired. Mm hmm I mean, there's a lot of characters. Definitely need that day off. Congratulations, Ares leveled up. And you have all your other characters, too. You haven't used Titan yet, have you? Once. Oh, Grandmaster Sanders. Ugh! <laughs> So be it, Snat Hamwick. Did you come to meet Vados? Go on, then. The total helplessness that you'll feel against him. The sheer dread that you will experience under his gaze. Yes, you will finally understand what it feels like to be a mere human. Can I heal up? Huh. Just fades from existence. Mm-hmm. Maybe he kind of staggered out of the room. Yeah. I'll take that theory. Uh. Guess I'll do this. We really don't want to have to go back down and heal. I was kind of really hoping one of the cultists would be here to heal me. Mm hmm. Gosh. 
My really... cultists really did a number on this place. Why couldn't have I just walked up? I mean, I guess Xanders would have tried to stop me. Ooh, a chest. A ghost whistle. Now, what are the whistles for again? They increase your cap capture rate. So, ghost whistle is a 3% increase on catching ghost type. I see. Did you just kill this game's Obi-Wan? No, not really. He was definitely kind of the Darth Vader-y guy. Oops, wrong way. Oh. I Look. bet this is Dad. Hello, Snad Hamwick. Atlas. It's the ghost from back then. I've come to thank you, Snat Hamwick. You're about to set things right. The things that I ruined when I defeated Omnicron centuries ago. I... I knew what I'd done. To save my present, I chose to destroy your future, Snat Hamwick. Ugh. In the grand scheme of things, was Omnicron's downfall truly for the good of our world? Are you telling us this? Because you're no different from me, Snat Hamwick. You're following my very own footsteps right now. You're about to destroy Vados, are you not? He's the imminent threat, just like Omnicron was millennia ago. Heed my words, my friend. What you're about to do will forever change the course of humanity. You'll become the king of monsters and rule for an eternity to come. For better or for worse. Mm -hmm. Are they just alluding to the cyclical nature of this and how- Kind of. I, I think he's trying to convince us that we need to be better than Omnicron. Or someone will kill us. Mm hmm Do we have a choice? Vados will hunt, uh, hunt us down sooner or later. Of course we have to fight him. You can try talking with him, but it's one of those things where... Oh, there's no talking to him. 